Welcome back everyone, this is Lee, and yes, today's the day we will be taking a look at Dehancer for DaVinci Resolve. Now, right before we get started, I just want to point out that this is just an overview of the plugin, and also Dehancer, they did reach out to me for this evaluation, and as usual, all opinions are my own opinions about the product. So, with that said, let's begin! So right before we even get started, what is Dehancer? Well, Dehancer is a film simulator for your photo and video backed up by 30 years of experience. So in this video, we'll go through with DaVinci Resolve, but it is available for Final Cut Pro, Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro. Also for photo, if you're doing photography, definitely Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One, and an Affinity Photo. Also, if you're in the mobile realm of things, iOS, Dehancer, they do have it for photo and for video, but for the online version, it's only for photo currently. So with that in mind, let's take a look at Dehancer for DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you take a look at Dehancer.com under products, DaVinci Resolve, OFX plugins, you'll notice that there are seven plugins and four of the plugins are Film Grain, Bloom, Halation, Breathe and Damage, and they are $100 a piece. Now, in my honest opinion, I would direct people to Dehancer Lite and the Pro version. Now, some of you guys might be wondering what is the difference between Dehancer Lite and the Pro version? Well, let's take a look. Now, the Lite version comes in at 200 USD, whereas the Pro version comes in at 450 USD. And the difference between the plugins is that the Pro version, you get the, your LUT generator, you get your film compression, developer, overscan, film damage. You also get your halation. So if you're on a tight budget, the Lite version is not bad at all. But if you can definitely spend a little bit more, I would go for the Pro version because you get nine additional more plugins over the Lite version. So there we go. Now here is a quick pro tip. If you are using an older version of DaVinci Resolve, do not install Dehancer just yet. Finish up your project, make sure you're done with it, and then update your DaVinci Resolve and then get Dehancer because what ends up happening is Dehancer or any plugin, it may not be for your current older version of Resolve and it may not even work. And in my case, I noticed that you get a white screen. So make sure you do that. Now, once that is completed, you updated your DaVinci Resolve, you download Dehancer, you install Dehancer. Here is how you set it up in DaVinci Resolve. Now go ahead and launch DaVinci Resolve. Go to your project settings down below at the gear icon. Here's your project setting. Here's my master settings. Go to down to color management. Here is my color management. Make sure that if you're on the Windows, you're using Gamma 2.4. But if you're on the Mac, use Rec 79-8. But since I'm on the Windows, I'm gonna use Gamma 2.4. And then you hit save. So I'm here in the color tab. And this is the video that I'm working with. I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to Click on effects, find Dehancer. So type in the search, Dehancer. I'm gonna drag and drop Dehancer onto the new node. And here is Dehancer. And so what I'm gonna do is minimize all the modules in the plugins. I'm going to work my way all the way down because for some reason Dehancer, they put your serial key input at the bottom also your updates at the bottom, which is check profiles and also disable all tools at the very bottom. So what we're gonna do is check profiles and update Dehancer and this is what it should look like. If this is your first time, it would take a while. Once the update is completed, I'll disable all tools that would turn off any special effects that might be turned on during the update. And then I'll scroll all the way to the top to input source. I will select choose camera. And for this portion, I'm going to select Panasonic GH5, which is the camera I use for this footage right here. And then of course it was a vlog footage. And once that is completed, you could adjust your exposure, your temperature, your tent, your defringe and your radius of your defringe and just note that each module has a enable checkbox off at default make sure you turn it on if you look at film you can see that the enable is turned off at default so i'm pulling and pushing the film and you don't see anything happening and that is because you need to turn it on so make sure you turn that on and pull and push and now you can see the effect of the film stock 
And speaking about film stock, if you are confused of which film stock you should use, I would definitely test around. Also, if you go to Dehancer's website, there's a great catalog of their entire film stock list. Some of it doesn't have a link, but a good chunk of them do have a link to go into the history of the film stock. So that is a huge plus right there. I hope Dehancer finished the rest of the list on their website because it's really helpful for those that are looking for a film stock to work with. And just like the film stock, Dehancer offers an array of modules to adjust your photo and your video. Let me know down below if you guys want me to do a separate video where I go in one by one and show you guys what each effect does. But if you guys want to know ahead of time, definitely check out the learn section at Dehancer's website. They show an example of every single module in their learn section of their website. And also in the learn section of the website, they also have articles about workflows and articles about tools and articles about Dehancer, but I would definitely point you guys to the YouTube page because the YouTube page will offer more visual information like tutorials, what each of these modules actually do. So definitely check out their YouTube page to get more information about the Dehancer plugins and what it offers. Now for some cons on Dehancer, let me get this out the way. I know 450 USD might be kind of steep for those people that are just starting out video editing. I would recommend you guys get the light version and then once you get yourself situated with the light version, you can always pay the difference to upgrade to the pro version. And for those students out there, you're in college, you could just send your ID to Dehancer and you get a discount. So that is pretty cool. Now. Another issue that I ran into with Dehancer when I first started out was the way that Dehancer has the film stock laid out in the plugin. It's the entire list, right? So let's say if I'm working on a project, I want black and white only film stock. You can't do that. You need to go through every single film stock and look for it, right? Or go to their website and then look for the black and white film stock find the one that you like, and then go back to the Dehancer in DaVinci Resolve and then find that within the list. Um, it's kind of cumbersome that way. It's also kind of cumbersome going through each one one by one. I wish that there was a system where it's all categorized like they did it on Dehancer's website. You could see motion picture, you could see color negative films, you could see color positive films, you could see instant film, exotic films. I like the way they did that on their website. I just wish it was on the plugin as well, but I don't know if they could do that, but that's just wishful thinking on my end, right? But uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, and my last con about Dehancer, it's, it's minor, it's just probably nothing, it's probably just me, <laughs> but uh, whenever I start Dehancer, I always want to update Dehancer, right? So I need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of all the modules, and then click check profiles. I wish this option right here, that's all the way at the bottom of the plugin. I wish this was moved all the way to the top of the plugin. So when I start, I update, disable all, and then I just get started. But uh, <laughs> this, this could all just be me and everyone is actually really happy for it to be all at the bottom. So Dehancer, Ignore me if, <laughs> if no one else talked about this, but uh, it could just be a me problem, right? But besides those small baby cons that I just mentioned, you know me, I need to kind of balance my videos, but uh, the overall experience with Dehancer Pro, it's phenomenal. I really enjoy the program. I mean, I went from, you know, being very curious to becoming a student again because I'm relearning about all the film stocks out there through the Dehancer's website. and Getting into Dehancer was very easy because Dehancer YouTube page has tons of beginners tutorials. So that's something you guys should definitely take a look when you are getting into this plugin. This plugin offers so much film stock, so much modules within the plugin. This is not one of those cheap LUTs that you find from the other YouTubers out there for like $60, $80. This 
plugin right here has some backing to it 30 plus year of experience from people that know film so this is one of those plugins that i would definitely recommend for those that are getting into more filmic type of look for their project so if you're out there you're wondering about if you should get dehancer pro i would definitely highly recommend this plugin so i just want to thank dehancer for reaching out to me to evaluate their plugin and i'm really curious about their Photoshop plugin because on my channel we do a lot of side-by-side -side comparison and I wonder if their plugin is as good Photoshop plugin is as or Lightroom um, Lightroom plugin is as good as these Fujifilm cameras on the market so that is something that I really want to test out so maybe I'll do a video on that since most of my viewers are mainly photographers so stay tuned for that if that ends up happening I'll let you guys know but thank you guys for checking me back Hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Take it easy. Peace.